She wants to stay here permanent. Yeah, she's talking about having kids. Doesn't get much more permanent than that, does it? Oh, well, I never. Kieran McCarthy hung, drawn and courted. You must love her. I do, but the whole kids thing is a bit of a shock. I thought we were having Ryan and all, you know. No, no. I, you'll make a great dad. You reckon? Well, yes, because you're just a big kid yourself, really, aren't you? That'll give you somebody to play with, you know. Oh, good. I've been looking for you. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I've just been speaking to my mum, and guess what? She's pregnant. No, her and my dad are going to pay for the wedding venue so we can have that hotel after all. Great. Really? Mm-hmm. So posh. It's got, like, a courtyard and fountains and everything. Fountains and everything. <laughs> hey, it's not as bad as a windmill, which was next on our list. Listen, you're not working today, are you? No way. You want to celebrate? <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> no. please. Can you take this deposit over? Fine. Well, I would do it myself, but I've got a meeting and it needs paying today. It was only the promise of cash that swung it. Won't forget, will you? No, of course you won't. Your wish is his command. Isn't mm. that right, Kieran? Come in. Mm. We'll celebrate later. Baby, get your hair cut, cos it looks a bit straggly. Hung, drawn and quartered. Hey, Carl, uh, get us a coat, mate. Yeah. Hey, Carl. Who's his mate? I don't know. I'd like to ask. All right, Kirk. I know. Been to a funeral, have you? No. Oh, no, I just wondered. Oh, it's, it's Michael. Oh. Well, no, actually, it's Michael, you know, his ashes. What? The Schmeichel? As in? Yeah, as in the Great Dane, only the dog sort. Used to belong to Chesney, you know, Fizz's brother. Right. I paid the vet to have him cremated. I'm going to give him to Ches. Well, that's, uh, that's a nice thought, mate. Just working myself up to going round. Only it's all a bit emotional, you know. No way! Why not? Because you already paid for her wallpaper and her flipping laminate flooring, and you want to pay for her curtains as no, well? She's my daughter. And I am your partner. And I am putting my foot down, OK? Right. right. Excuse me. <laughs> you got me under your thumb. <laughs> hey, mate. Hey, what's up? Just run halfway across town to put the deposit down for the wedding venue to find the place closed five minutes before I got there. Oh dear, oh dear. And Michelle gave him very strict instructions to pay that deposit today, didn't she? She's going to kill me. <laughs> are all the men wimps round here, or what? Ah, says the man who's pulling points for his missus. Only because I know what I'm onto a good thing. Carl! I paid for it. You better have. Have you changed them barrels yet? No. Well, go on then. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Nothing. Thanks, Stella. I'd just like to propose a toast to Schmeichel. Yeah. Michael. Schmeichel. I know you're looking down on us, mate, from that great dog you're having in the sky. And I just want to say... I, I think that's enough, Kirk. You'll have us all in tears. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Don't man, pack up <laughs> In fact, I have a big fat pay packet ready for the spending, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have another round of drinks for the lads and whatever you're having for your good self, Stella. Right, cheers. And in fact, we can have that game of poker that we've been promising ourselves. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm me. And what about you, Carl? Oh, sorry, we better ask your oh. missus. Oh, it's fine by me. Go on, love you. Go and have a good time, eh? <laughs> right. I'll sit out the back room then. Oh, hey, hello. Mm. All right. Yeah. Um, listen, I know that I said we'd celebrate tonight, but I've got to work late again. <sighs> I was looking forward to having a night in, just the two of us. I know, I'm sorry. You did pay that deposit, didn't you? Of course. Good. See you later. Oh, I'll pay first thing in the morning. She'll never know. I don't... Yeah, so I was thinking, Texas Oldham, 20 quid buy-in and, uh... Help yourself some chips. Mm. Got any ketchup? Hey? Eh? Yeah, I got a mick, Kirk. He never had you done as a Pokemon. That's Tortles. Me and him used to play all the time. He was a blinding teacher. Although, having said that, I never actually beat him. Les. <laughs> well, you're playing with a master now, so watch and learn, son. Yeah. Watch and learn. Yeah, yeah. And if you're lucky, mate, you might pick up a few tips on humility and all. Hey, listen to him. And again, I wouldn't hold your breath. 
Mind you, that's about the only thing you will be holding tonight, Kurt. If I thought we were going to be sitting gassing like old women, I would have brought me knitting. Now, are we playing or what? Someone's in a hurry to lose their money. Oh, yeah. We shall see. You're right. So much for the luck of the Irish. I bet. A call. Fold. Bring it on. All in. Oh. Ah. Not for me. Well, it looks like it's just you and me, Kirk. And you know, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. Didn't know you had one. But as somebody with considerable experience in the world of retail, I would like to think that I have learned a thing or two about reading people, you know, perceiving <laughs> from the slightest flicker of expression or emotion, whether they are being truthful or not. And that is why I know that you are bluffing, and that is why I am going to call you. So, it's over to you, Kirk. Oh, ho, ho, full house, mate. Thank you. Very much. Oh! oh my God! Oh, my God! And the master becomes the pupil. Hey, I think you better stick to retail, Dev. Uh, you're a funny guy. <laughs> uh, you all find this very amusing, don't you? Ah, uh, what's your problem now? I'll tell you, Willie. Really. I thought we were here to play cards, you know, like we did on the ships. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, can we at least make things a little bit more exciting? Why, what do you have in mind? Strip poker? Maybe, if your missus was playing. Hey, you're out of line there, pal. I'm also bored out of my school. How about we raise the stakes a bit? Yeah? To what? Ten or a bit. Oh, it's a bit too steep for me, that. Come on, just for a couple. You know what I mean? Yeah. No problem. Right, my deal. Come to Papa. I think I'm gonna do one if that's all right. Ah, kick, you just wanna thought you were growing a spine. I've got a spine. I've got a stomach and all, and it needs feeding. See you later. See you later. Yeah. What you say, we finish up here, lads, and have a couple in the bar on the house. Hey, we're just getting started. Yeah, and the cards aren't falling my way. What can I say? Come on, Dave, never had you down as gutless. So if Dave is gutless, Kirk is spineless, what am I missing? Do you really want me to answer that? What have you got? Yeah, I've got 40. That's well enough to turn this round. Come on, one more game for cash. Peter? Uh, all right, then, one more. All right, go on. What about you? We'll miss it for the world. I know I should have stayed home and done the stock taking. <laughs> 20 quid. I'll raise you 40 quid all in. Well, I think I could hear a fat lady singing somewhere, boys. That's me. Unless you need to get home like a good boy. Not until I've taken all of your money. There's plenty more where that came from. How about we raise the stakes? Say another hundred quid on top of what's already down. Whoa, mate, come on, hang on. How about 200? All right, come on now, ladies. I didn't think you would have the bottle. Is that right? OK. How about we cut to the chase? Well, I'm guessing he's not the keys to his heart, huh? Hmm? Mimola. Worth a grand. Easy. I lose. You take the car or I'll give you the cash. Up to you. And that is, if you've got the bottle. I can't believe you're even considering this. Just walk away. I can win. I've got a great hand. Newsflash. He might have a better one. He's got a point. You stay out of it. Besides, look, you don't have the money to see him. Yes, I do. Is that your wedding money? Well, what if it is? What are you going to do, tell me, Shell? No. But I'm telling you, if you screw this up, it won't be your wedding I'm coming to. It'll be a funeral. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Right. Check it's all still there. Oh, it is for now. Here's a thousand pounds. Oh, 
Oh. Straight flush. Yeah. That's a pretty good hand. I know. Just not good enough. Ooh. Royal flush. <laughs> 